I am sitting here with Tom Seymour of London Betty. Yes. Now that is not a British Gothic group. No, uh, London Betty is a feature film. Okay. Um, I was saying to these guys, my first uh, SAG shoot. Um, we have uh, Nicole Lewis who's starring in it. She's currently uh, in Hair on Broadway right now. Okay. Um, and Daniel Von Bargen, who was in Super Troopers and Seinfeld, uh, and uh, it's narrated by Clint Howard. So I, I have that, but people uh, people may know me for the Bikini Bloodbath series, okay. which was uh, three feature-length films. First one was Bikini Bloodbath. Second one was Bikini Bloodbath Car Wash. Third one, uh, yet to be released, is Bikini Bloodbath Christmas. Okay. And those have uh, Debbie Rashan and Lloyd Kaufman from uh, all the Troma films. In them. Right, Troma. That's like a, a big low budget name, right? Yeah, that, they did. Uh, they've been around for decades, right? Yeah, Troma. forever. Okay, so you're working with the underground heavy hitters, then? Yeah, I mean, uh, back and forth a little bit. I do, I do feature horrors, and I do, um, then I do other films that are either comedic dramas or comedies. Or I did one called uh, The Land of College Prophets, which. Um, um, if anyone's interested, most of the stuff is on Netflix, so uh, Bikini Bloodbath 1 and 2, and then Land of College Profits. Yeah, okay, now talk about the Bikini Bloodbath series, because that's easy to remember. Right. So, when you're, uh, in the, uh, when you're shopping for movies, um, now you, you directed yeah, me and my, Bikini uh, Bloodbath. Yeah, me and my partner, John Gorman, we, we wrote and directed these films. Uh, the second one actually just came out, okay. uh, Bikini Bloodbath Car Wash, and so you can get that one now. Bikini but, Bloodbath at the... Now, are these um, made in Connecticut? Yeah, I, I actually done seven features, and they've all been uh, shot within Connecticut. You want to give the car wash a plug? Did you actually go to a car wash to shoot no, we it? No, we created a car wash. Uh, really? It was very classy. Yeah. Um, but now we're it, talking money, right? This is kind of uh, they're, they're lower your budget. budget. I mean, you do have to dump some money into it. Yeah. Um, now, what's low budget? What like what? If I wanted to make bikini bloodbath car wash, what would I be looking at? Well, I can make it for ten grand. I don't know what you can make it for, and that, you know. I don't <laughs> Maybe you can make it for two grand. I needed to make it for ten. I don't know, um, but uh, yeah. I mean, well, you know, the part of it is that there are some notable actors in it. Right. Um, that, that command faces. the pay. Right? Yeah. The, okay. That's part of it. That's where some of the money goes. And then also, I mean, on a practical level, uh, catering. Catering is like three or four grand. Right. Because you got to feed everybody every day, yeah. right? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, also. Um, well, I mean, the plot lines for these films are very simple. Right. Just there's a killer. There's bikini-clad women, and they get, they get killed. But it, it's parody. It's uh, making fun of 70s and 80s horror films. Right. Sort of like Scary Movie, but a little more um, underground, a little right. more radar. Now, do you, um, do you, are you successful? Do you, do you cut, are you able to make a profit with, or, or are you just trying to yeah. break even with, like, a bikini well, bloodbath? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we have made back our money on the first one. Uh, the next month, we'll broke even on the second one. And then we have the third one. Uh, uh, we're at Rough Cut. Uh, phase, so um, we're not rolling in money. But you know, I don't know if you know that the state of independent film, as far as uh, money is concerned, is really taking a hit. Um, not only has uh, you know the the internet and pirating and uh, the oversaturation of the DVD market really taken a taken a hit, right. uh, of, uh, you know, taken a chunk out of the industry. But now with the economy, it's sort of kicked it over the cliff. So quite frankly, it's going to be a little while before it recovers. That there isn't the audience that there, that there normally would be? There is, if, well, I'll give you an example. Uh, Bikini Bloodbath okay. 1 came out 2006. Okay. Sold about, I think to, to date, sold about 5,000 copies. Of DVDs, of actual of DVDs. DVDs. 350,000 people downloaded it illegally. Okay. So, um, so you know it's watched. I know it's, it's getting out there, but in, but here's the here's the double edged sword. I may not have sold those four thousand copies okay. without three without the awareness of three hundred fifty thousand. Right, right, pirated. right. Um, so it helps you. It can help you. It, I think. Oh, yeah. But I don't know how to quantify it. You know. Um, and I don't so. know what quantify means. So I would ask <laughs> you. Um, now what's uh, what's coming up? What's what's in the in the curtains in the in the wings for? Uh, do, you, is, do you have a, like a production company that? You yeah, yeah. Well, there's two companies. One is called Hail Manor Productions, and we do the ones that are, are comedies and dramas. And then Bloodbath Pictures, we okay. do the horror films. Okay. So I think in the fall we're planning to do one. Uh, it's actually an adaptation of a short story by Rudyard Kipling, and we're going to turn that into a, a feature-length horror. Um, and then London Betty is in the festival circuit right now, okay. and we're going to try to sell that soon. 
Um, so it's, it's those two things right now. Now, is that going to the big ones? Is that going to Sundance and it is, it is. Well, Hoboken has been the biggest one. So you're really in this. How long have you been doing it? Like 12 years. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's it's uh, things are happening, but they're happening slowly. And I, I do think if the economy was better, I'd probably be in a better spot. But It'll turn around. Yeah, yeah, I think so. But uh, London Betty, London Betty is very London funny. London Betty is it? It's it's the this is the the picture of, uh, of the moment. Yes, this, this is the, this Betty. is the one. Um, it's a, a small town comedy. Yep. Um, and uh, it involves small town thieves, and there's a corrupt mayor, and uh, it, it's a. Uh, I think it's my favorite of the, the ones I've done. So this is my seventh. And so where was this done? This was shot right in central Connecticut. So um, Waterbury, um, you okay. know, Plainville, New Britain, Southington, West Hartford. All right. Uh, thank uh, you for coming. Thank you for having me. Uh, thank you, everyone.